so you want to make money online as a web developer you've come to the right place i've discovered five awesome ways that you can make an extra five hundred dollars one thousand dollars or even three thousand dollars every single month these five different ways will help you set yourself up with a lucrative and flexible side income that you can turn to a full-time gig now each one of these has its own set of pros cons effort level and income potential but by the end of this video you have all the information that you need to get started i've done a lot of this before and i'm happy to share them with you so you want to stick to the end of this video sounds good enough of the talking let's get you started to earning that money so number one on my list is to start selling web development assets so let's kick things off with one of the most passive income streams this involves you selling products that you make this can be in form of templates themes widgets components to other developers like you and the best part about this is that you get to create them once put them up for sale and then they'll keep any new money month in and month out it's really a sweet deal so you can sell any of these web assets on various marketplaces like webflows marketplace which is webflows official template and add-on marketplace when you're doing this you'll be selling to their growing user base you can also sell a template on the chakra ui marketplace this is for developers of react applications and sites and personally i have a chakra ui template and this template has earned me a whole lot of money every single month since i released it on chakra ui marketplace you can also sell on template monster this is a marketplace that is focused on selling websites themes graphics and plugins and there are a whole lot of other marketplaces one that i'm also very excited to share with you is the Freema marketplace and in my opinion is one of the best out there the pricing when you're selling on these marketplaces is very flexible depending on the type of product that you're selling a lot of times this pricing can range from twelve dollars to hundred dollars so when you're starting out you need to carefully inspect current top sellers in your niche selling whatever similar products that you like to sell whether it's templates widgets and you want to look for the tools that sell well for maximum profit you want to stick to designing assets and creating assets that are compatible with a whole lot of popular frameworks and platforms like wordpress webflow shopify chakra ui you know a whole lot of the platforms that developers will always use in their workflow let's take an example and walk through the process of selling the templates on framers marketplace specifically so frema has a large user base of web developers and web designers that always look out for sites templates especially mobile responsive and even could support react based projects right so to get started building a framer template you want to ensure that it aligns with the guidelines on framer that they've already specified so framer provides specific instructions for the color palette styling the image styling the type of demo content that should be used so you want to make sure that you follow all of these instructions now once your template is completed it's time to list it on the third party platform like go mode and then you submit it for review to framer so framer would showcase the approved templates in your marketplace and obviously you yours would be part of it so they have a link to your gumwood product page that developers would then use to purchase these templates and it's really that simple right Frema handles the promotion for you and you handle the order fulfillment so when a customer finishes their gumwood purchase you just provide them with a shareable link to a Frema template and now you can relax while the sale starts to roll in here's a pro tip for you you only want to submit the best template templates to Frema. Their team is very picky since many other web developers like yourself are also applying to sell their templates. So only pick the absolute best of your templates to sell on these marketplaces. So you can see that selling your specialized skills in form of templates or tools on these marketplaces is really an amazing way to make a passive source of income. So the number two way to make money as a web developer is through freelancing so let's shift gears from 
just you know making money passively to building sites as a freelancer so when you work as a freelancer you get to build online stores web applications websites for clients right and this is also very lucrative but unlike selling templates freelancing actually requires you to trade your time for money however the earning potential can be much higher than just selling templates if you develop skills that are in high demand and the quality of your work is impeccable right over time when you get to work with clients that really love quality work and are willing to pay for it you realize that you can actually start any money many developers actually get started freelancing on marketplaces like upwork fiverr and freelancer upwork is a website that i particularly use to get freelance clients and this has always worked for me i really do not need to have to start sending you know code leads to people that may not be interested in my services clients on upwork or clients on this marketplaces already come because they have a project that they need to work with all you need to do is to prove that you're trustworthy and you're the kind of person that they would love to work with it's an added plus if you have portfolio pieces and projects that you can show these clients they will more or less be willing to work with you and you know you can get started earning money however there is caveat to working on this freelance sites because the competition is really fierce for developer jobs you have to ensure that you have an impressive profile that clearly conveys your skills to any clients that is checking you out so what you can do is check out profiles of high earning freelancers on any of these platforms and then you can get to refine your own work based on what these freelancers have for example you want to be looking at if they have very detailed services descriptions right or their portfolio or their profiles you also want to use a professional headshot it's important to also have strong client testimonials of people that you've worked with or recommendations so steal cleverly from any of these people that are top earners on these freelance platforms now when you do land your first job and the first couple of gigs one advice i have for you is to always over deliver on client projects so you want to communicate often and meet every expectation or as much expectations that they have essentially you want to wow them and start earning the five star client reviews when you have this five star reviews and this really positive reviews from clients they help other potential clients that are checking your profile out to have more trust in you and it helps you just build the credibility so more people are willing to work with you on this freelance platform so this is another way that you can earn money I would say freelancing takes more efforts. One thing I can say is that freelancing definitely takes more time and efforts than just selling web templates on marketplaces. But luckily for you, web development is a skill that is in high demand and has a high income potential. So that puts you above every other person or every other person in other industries. So let's move to the third way to earn money online as a web developer is called guest blogging. So as a guest blogger if public gets the right when you're working as a web developer guest blogger you have to work with companies that are also in tech a lot of times i would say startup companies are looking to get more content out there to both run for seo and to also service their community of developers so as a web developer you can obviously volunteer and sign up on this guest authorship programs that a lot of these companies do and then when you complete the article for them it earns you money and it's really an ongoing thing so you can just begin to write a huge number of articles that will keep earning you money month in month out many of these companies have their own guest authorship guidelines and rules so you want to tailor whatever pitch that you have to write accordingly to match their rule or to fit their rule here's a pro tip when you're submitting a proposal or a pitch to a guest authorship program you want to include the actual post title idea you want to have it proposed outline how exactly the article will flow this will help them understand your thought process and you know what's really going on in your head you also want to ensure that you write why you think the article will be useful to their audience and if you can write all of this 
most often than not they'll be really interested in working with you and it's really a win-win for you you get to end the money and the company also gets to have a new piece of content for their community the fourth way to make money online as a web developer is selling online courses and yes you heard me online courses personally i've created a, an online course chakra ui for beginners and even though this is a free course a whole lot of people have taken it and this tells me that if i create another course that is paid a whole lot of people would also be willing to learn and you know it'll make me money as well and if you're like me you've also probably purchased an online course sometime right to probably figure things out and crunch down the time of you trying to learn things on your own so that tells you that there's a lot of demand for online courses in different on different tools and on different frameworks tech and web development is so broad so all you need to do is to just pick a particular tool or framework that you know you're very good in find a way to break them into um, manageable bits and modules and lessons so to create an online course in web development there are so many tools and frameworks for example you can create an online course on javascript css react webflow you know you get to host this online course on platforms like udemy teachable while you handle all of the content by yourself these platforms provide you with huge audiences that you do not even necessarily need to keep marketing your, your courses on their platform and people that are interested in buying your course will obviously see your course listed on their site so think about for example having a webflow course that guides beginners from zero level to actually building webflow sites that can earn them dollars every single month and that will be profitable for them one of the reasons why i know a webflow course will make you so much money is because webflow is really somewhere between no code and low code and a whole lot of people would be interested now i need to really spell this out creating an online course actually requires you to put in the work you do not want to create an online course that will be misleading to students or anyone watching your course right you want to ensure that it has stuff that they pay for so it requires you to put in the work you need to actually build the curriculum from scratch you need to film the lectures you need to make your slides you need to make exercises and activities that students will be able to you know follow through with and you also need to create your own sort of launch plan so what i'm saying is that course creation can be really very intensive behind the scenes before you launch but one thing you can pretty much be rest assured with is once you launch your course the money will begin to roll in you also do not want to forget um, promoting it on whatever social media platforms that you have because people need to know that your course is on these platforms and over time if your course is good you start to get reviews people mentioning that they took your course you start to get recommendations also and this will help you in turn rank higher on this course hosting platforms and eventually you get to make sales so just imagine you waking up to five people 10 people 20 people overnight that have bought your course do you know how much joy you will get right it will begin to pay off so you obviously need to put in the work right but right after that you begin to enjoy the proceeds of the course that you've created so that right there is the dream so think about online course creation think about how you can create an online course and really you do not have to even be an expert or teach entire advanced concept it can just be a mini course a simple concept you teach it so eloquently and so well and you begin to earn money for yourself the fifth and final way to earn money online as a web developer is to get a remote web developer job and why it's really an option is that you get to work full-time doing what you really love and this is why i do personally full-time i work remotely as a developer advocate doing what i love and we both know that remote work really you know exploded after the covid pandemic a whole lot of companies now started hiring for remote roles and they realized that okay i probably do not need this person in the office every single day so earning money as a remote web developer can be very rewarding you can earn somewhere between five to six figures 
every single year and you want to look for companies that are well funded startups that are well funded that are in need of web developers that you know in need of building their teams and a whole lot of times these companies also have very good packages right so you can work in a role like front-end engineering back-end engineering full-time engineering cloud and devops engineering a whole lot you know is a very non-exhaustive list and your earning potential can be you know even 100k and above you also get the choice of having stock options you have bonuses vacation days and unlimited sometimes pto and truthfully even if you do not get to earn money at a big tech company you'll still be fine um earning the average salary which is about sixty thousand dollars per year which is still better than the average you know nine to five job out there and of course you can also negotiate your rates with the hr and hiring manager to ensure that you're adequately compensated for your skill sets all right let's wrap this up i hope you know walking through this five money making ways as a web developer has started to give you some ideas and i would say there's really no need to do all of this at once right what you should do is pick one or two that really resonates with you and try them out start with maybe template making or freelancing try them out and see how the momentum of you know making income starts to build up and then you can begin to stack on more ways of making money and any money so before you run off and stop this video to start making this money please hit the like and subscribe button below it really mean a whole lot to me and it'll help this video also rank on the youtube algorithm and also don't forget to share your favorite income source let me know in the comments which income source that you'll be trying today and yeah hope you learned a thing or two and i hope to see you in another video till next time bye